Hi everyone, Linda here. I just wanted to show you um, the pocket that I made. I'm in a swap over at your paper pantry called Pockets for Your Thought. And I had gotten this big stack of this red, um, that's not it. They're like red fo file folders, only they aren't folders, they're just the separation things, and they're real, real thick cardstock. And I folded it and cut it on an angle and put some paper you know, paper on here, and I love this paper. It's like textured, plus it looks like that. I don't know, it's very pretty. I think it's K and Company. I'm not sure whose it is, but anyway. So then I uh, wrapped some of my vintage lace around it and sewed it on the side and then tucked it in. So there's like a pocket here, and I put a flower or a bow here, and I sewed across here and up here and I just kind of tacked it a few places but I wanted it kind of so it could expand here so I knew the lace would stretch so that's just the back and see I folded over the edge there and then um, the ta we were supposed to make four tags for our pockets so this is one of them and I'm sure you recognize this is a embossing folder and then I used three different distressings I think wild honey um, peeled paint and festive berry on there and then I used my gypsy and made a little tiny frame um, from elegant edges and then I used some of the graphic 45 paper and put in there and this I just wrapped a ribbon around and tied it and popped it on there then this one I got a new um, uh, what are these things called? Embossing folder, a delusions one, but I got it from Etsy, but it's put away, so or it's drying. But it had snowflakes on it, and I used some Lindy's. I think this was Delphinium blue, and it's real glittery. And then it's kind of messed up there, but I think that's part of it, looking artsy. And then I cut out a, a snowflake with my um, Cricut. And these are both sprayed. This is sprayed with Lindy's um, uh, silver, and then the same, the blue is sprayed with the same um, delphinium, I think, blue on the back. And then the back's just plain for a person to write on it. And then this one is, oh, and these are from file folders. I get a whole stack of legal size ones that I've been cutting up. And then this is a raisin boat stamp. And I stamped it, then I stamped it two more times, and I cut it out of, um, I think this was on the green, green, and this is delicious red from Raisin Boat. And then, I don't know if you can see if it all, but I put some little teeny tiny, there they go, little teeny tiny beads in there. They are from those... Um, fingernail, the, you know, the little bottles of fingernail decorations or something that people are buying from the dollar store. I found some. And then I just went around the edge of it with peeled paint. In the back of this one I put some designer paper because I thought it was kind of plain. But I left this plain because I didn't know if somebody went in my hands. I've been plain. If they want to put to and from on it. Now this one's a little fancier. <laughs> this one I put... Um, made out of the red file folder and I cut mm, I don't know I had some pieces laying around I thought oh wouldn't that make a cute pocket so I took the little piece here and then I ran it through an embossing folder and inked that up and then I sewed around there and I put um, some of that bow on here then in this pocket then I made a pocket in there and then in that pocket I put a little tag and this is a die cut from Stamping Up and their little tree, and then I just put some stickles on that. And then the other side, I put um, one of the Graphic 45 stamps, so I cut it out like a stamp. And then I put another little piece inside there, and I went around the edges with that with some gold, uh, you know, in gold leaf pen is what it is. And then this is the folder or the other tag and I used one of the graphic 45 pictures and hung over a little bit but I thought that would be okay and so that's the way this one looks and then the back I used some more of the paper that I used on the cover so those are my four and a half tags I guess you could say 
for the pocket for your thoughts for your paper pantry. So, I hope you'll head over and check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.